Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is as early as I have milked in a long time. Got to take Homestead Boy 1 to swim. Of course, Homestead Boy 3 decided to wake up at 6 o'clock and not go back to sleep. So, it took me a couple minutes longer to get out here. I was hoping that he would sleep so my wife would sleep. Anyway, I'm going to milk him. Milking is done. You can see there's five piglets there. And there's five piglets here. Pretty sure they've taken to sleeping with each other. <clears throat> not necessarily with their brothers and sisters. Um, and I also think they're all nursing off of both moms. I think they're, they're just all kind of community feeding. Um, which I think is good. So, I gotta go wake up at Homestead Boy 2. I will see you guys in a bit. Or Homestead Boy 1. See you guys in a bit. So, Homestead Boy 1 finished his meet this morning, or his event this morning. Uh, he dropped a second, over a second, 1.06 seconds from his best time. He made the finals for his event, so we got to go back there this evening. In the meantime, we're headed to the other swim team. He's going to swim a couple events there quick, and then he'll have some time to rest before his finals this evening. So, good job, buddy. Okay, guys, so we're home for a couple hours. Um, we made it to his other swim meet in time. He just swam two events there and uh, did well. So, before we go back for the finals tonight, I am going to see if I can get the sides finished on that. Maybe the uh, chicken wire across the top. I'm thinking about adding another, um, another support across here, and but putting it closer. So, I think I'm gonna put the door right here. So right here on this side, I'm gonna put the door. So if I put a support across here, it'll make it easy to open up the door and hang a water or a feeder right there. That's what I'm thinking. So I got the supports installed. I put this one close enough to be able to reach. That one I just split the difference. So they're not symmetrical, but they should be functional. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this four foot chicken wire and staple it from there to here. And I left this unscrewed down here so I should be able to staple it all the way around all four sides. Then I'll staple um, chicken wire from here to here and what I normally do is I put some screws in here to be able to just pull it over and hook it so we can unhook it, get it into the top. I'm gonna put a side from that corner there to here, and then I found this piece of plywood that's gonna fit between here and here. And that'll be my door. I'm gonna have to find the hinges. I don't think I'm gonna get that done because I've gotta get Homestead Boy 1 back to his finals. I don't want to pass out. It is really, really hot out. It's only supposed to be 82 today. It's already 85, but it's humid as all get out. It feels like the worst day out of all of them so far. Tomorrow, well, actually today it was supposed to start feeling cooler. Tomorrow it's supposed to be cooler yet. Um, so I'm going to cut this board and then see if I can have time to get the chicken wire on. Okay, I have to say... That rigid uh, battery powered saw is the only tool that I have not found um, to kind of live up to the rigid name. It, it wants to track right and when you try to keep it going straight it doesn't like the fact that it's binding and it just shuts down. So I was able to go for a little bit and then stop and then restart and um, all the other rigid tools I have, I love. That one, not so much. And I don't know, maybe it's a bent blade, I don't know. But anyway, so this is cut. I've got to get hinges. I think what I'm going to try to do is get um, the chicken wire put on. So let's see if we can get to that.
so I got the fence on here. See, I left a little overlap here so that I can put some screws in and just hook it on. Um, I was going to use a three foot section along here because it's three foot high, but both of the three foot rolls that I have are unopened. And when I was laying this across, this opening is four foot wide. So I think I'm just gonna use this, put a piece across that way, call it a day. I gotta go shower so I can take him to swim, but this is what it's gonna look like. Got the chicken wire for in there. I don't have the door hinges on or a door um, latch, but that's what it's gonna look like. This will hook down and that's what the whole thing's gonna look like. So we're just about there. Just a couple more things to do. I will see you guys in a bit. Seven Seven Crossbar Ranch. We're gonna have some uh, some dinner. I think they're making steaks on the uh, the grill, so should be good times. Quick change in plan. Um, the steaks are gonna take a couple more minutes, so I'm running home to milk quick, so I don't have to rush out after dinner. I think what really is going on is my brother-in-law, Seven Seven Crossbar Ranch, wanted me to leave so he could eat my steak. So we'll see if there's food for me when I get back. Uh, Here are my brother-in-law's pigs. Uh, there's Oscar the pony. Uh, He's gonna be pulling the cart for him in a bit. Uh, they always give the horses treats and then uh, I went down there just to check him the first night and he's like, yeah, I gave him some corn. I'm like, that's all right. Because mm -hmm. they love the animals coming down there. Cool. Remember how I told you my brother-in-law thinks he's really hilarious? Well, he named this calf Jeff because he's got a big white head like somebody else he knows. That guy right there, not so funny. Oh, very funny. This pony right here is going to pull that cart right there. This is the other way. When, when the pony doesn't cooperate, we just put Homestead Boy 2 to the task. Blackley will move. Just keep going. Blackley will move. uses all the names his grandkids and everything yeah but he's a professional rodeo announcer so well one of the other guys i watched he uses now the professional get up there yeah This is me driving on the road. This is how I roll. Well, it's not quite as dark as it looks on my phone, but we're on our way home. Okay, Homestead Girl uh, 2 is saying hi. Homestead Boy 3, you want to say hi? We are on our way home. We got to have dinner and have fun with, uh, with their cousins. Got to ride around. And we will see you guys on the next video.